One of the challenges with having a Blender Python script or add-on is keeping it up to date. With each new Blender release, there's potentially some breaking changes in the Python API that you would need to address. In this video, I'd like to share a tool that can simplify your life and help you stay on top of these breaking changes and not get buried down by support requests from your users telling you that your add-on or script doesn't work on the latest Blender release. If you're new here, I'm Victor Stepanoff and I love helping artists learn the Python programming language. If you take a look at the previous four releases of Blender, in the release notes under the Python API updates, you'll find a section called breaking changes in every single one of those releases. So let's take a look at 4.3 and under the Python API, you can see there's breaking changes right here. Here's the release notes for 4.2 in the Python API and you can see that there's breaking changes here as well. Here's 4.1 and if we scroll down, you'll see breaking changes here and in 4.0, there's also breaking changes. These breaking changes have affected my scripts that I've shared on this channel and anyone who writes Python code for Blender. To make sure that these breaking changes don't catch you off guard, you need to be constantly monitoring the latest releases and the experimental builds in the Blender's website. So if you go down here under experimental and then download experimental build. And you can see that there's these, ex these builds that are for future releases. Now, this is really tedious and you'd always need to be uh, making sure to check this website, but there is a better way. And here's the tool I'm talking about. This tool allows you to stay up to date with all the Blender builds that are available from the stable builds to any of the experimental builds. It has a nice clean UI where you can see what builds you have already installed and a nice button to download a build. So for example, I'm, I wanna download a stable build, let's say uh, for the long-term support version for uh, 0.25 and I just hit download right here and you can see that it shows me the progress as it's downloading, extracting and installing. So this is really neat. Also, you can see the different uh, versions that you've already installed. Maybe you have some favorites here as well. So the builds that are available for you are the stable builds, the daily builds, and the experimental builds of different features that are coming into Blender, that are coming into Blender's next release. This tool is called Blender Launcher and you can get it on the website. I'll provide a link in the description. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac, even though it doesn't say that it has Mac support here. I did see a change that added Mac OS support. And if you wanna get that Mac OS version, you can go under releases right here in the GitHub page of, for this tool, and then go into assets, and you'll see that there's a Mac OS ARM 64 version, and that's what you could install. To make sure that the breaking changes don't catch you off guard, you would just install the daily build of the current alpha or beta release, upcoming release, and then go through a checklist of your features of your script or add-on. Now, if you don't have, now if you don't have a checklist of features that you have, I highly recommend you taking the time and creating a list in Notepad or whatever note-taking software you use, and make sure to write down what the feature is and how you could test it. A great way to make sure that you don't miss any issues is just all is just start using this alpha or beta version of the upcoming release and see how your add-on performs or or how your script works. All right, if you found this helpful, make sure to hit the like button for this video. And if you want to see more videos about Blender Python, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.